think education is the cornerstone of our assistance because we have come to the realization that providing uh, a future for young people, for children, is extremely important. Children need an education, A, because they want to have a future either in this country or they want to be prepared for going home to, to Syria. So this is really an, a very important um, factor in, in, in our work. So we have agreed with the uh, Turkish Ministry for National Education on a program of about 300 million, 350 million uh, program for school building. And that serves actually two purposes. On the one hand, to provide the assistance uh, to the Syrian refugees, but to, on the other hand, also to take away the burden on the local structures, on the educational structures, on the schools. Schools from the beginning of the crisis were forced to run double shifts or triple shifts. So with this additional about 100, 100 plus schools that we are providing, this will help ease the burden on the, on, on the local communities. أنا اسمي مشتا كنت علو أزيت من حيدارية أمي وأبوي ما بتعرف تقرأ وبعائلتنا ما بتعرف حدا تعرف تقرأ بس أنا وأختي بنعرف أنا مستعود نظر بس خلي أولادنا يصير مستقبلتهم أنا أنا بدي خلي أولادي يتعلم الأمي وأبوي فرحان مش أنا بدرس أنا أنا في مهندسة إذا برجع لسوريا نقبني بيتنا وبيت الناس والله كثير ناشطين على المدرسة كثير عم يحبوا المدرسة أنا بنتمنى بناتي بيطلعوا مهندسة وناس دكتورة language uh, skills, other support to children, teachers training both in Arabic and in Turkish language but also English and some other uh, languages are, are being provided, school transportation and many other uh, um, support that we are giving. مركز مركز الهلال الاحمر في كلس هو مركز اجتماعي بيقدم دورات تعليميه بيقدم كمان دوره باللغه الانجليزيه ودورات خياطه ودورات تعليم الكمبيوتر طبعا انا هون لما بعد ما جيت على المركز وتعلمت من خلال الدورات اللي قدموا لي اياها بالمركز زادت ثقتي بنفسي صرت احسن انزل على الشارع بثقه اكثر احسن احكي لغتهم احسن اندمج بالمجتمع بشكل افضل we providing also assistance either in vocational training or providing scholarships so uh, the, the the ones who have gone through the school system and can also can continue and can go to university uh, spark received funds from EU Madad, Dutch Minister of Foreign Affairs, Education Above All in Qatar, Asfari Foundation in London. I'm a student of Sharif Al-Hajji, a student of Gaziantep, a student of Gaziantep, a student of Gaziantep. I came to Turkey for education. In Syria, I spent a year in the war, I mean, I didn't have a chance. فانقطعت سنة كاملة عن دراسة وأنا أول سنة كنت مضطر أشتغل بنهاية الأسبوع يومين أو ثلاثة بس بعد ما ربحت منحة سبارك و يعني بطلت أضطر أشتغل وتفرقت لدراستي كاملة يعني السنة الأولى كان معدلي تقريبا بال 60 65% بالسنة الثانية بعد ما صرت منحة سبارك صار معدلي 85 يعني صار فرق كبير صرت ملاحظ إنه المستقبل اللي قدامي صار أوسع الأفق قدامي كبير يعني well, the best achievement is that the kids are off the, off the street. They are in the school, meaning they are getting a structured education. Uh, they can uh, get, they can get a, a sense of what the future will be. They can be prepared for the future. They can be prepared for either taking part in the eco economic life here in Turkey or uh, to be ready to, to go home uh, to Syria once, once the situation allows. Because the country, Syria, will need uh, these kids in the future to rebuild the country. So I think this is really our strongest and the best contribution. But I must underline here, it's not only us, it's with UNICEF and it is uh, with, uh, with the Turkish Ministry of, of National uh, Education and the entire uh, Turkish administration that is helping here to prepare the kids for the future. <laughs>